YouTube. I wanted to do a quick video today. I uh, ran into a little bit of a problem um, with a program that I was trying to run in Wine. Um, it's an old, old game that I, I played at length many, many years ago. Kind of the granddaddy of, of all MMORPGs. Uh, if anybody who's, who's curious about it, it's name name of the game is, uh, is called uh, EverQuest. And I started that game when it first came out. But in any case, I was feeling a little bit nostalgic and, you know, found out that it was free to play. So I figured, you know what, I'll, I'll go ahead and download it and and uh, see see what how the game has evolved. Um, but anyway, I go to launch it. And here, let me show this to you. Um, this is the, obviously, the EverQuest uh, um, folder. And this is the program launchpad.exe that you um, that you execute in order to run it. And you'll see it shows that it's it's opening or it's trying to open it with wine. And this is where the, the that black that black box here is where the splash screen would be. And it shows it gives me a program. Now I go to close this or it gives me this um, error message. So I go to close this Click it a couple times and it doesn't close. Okay. Um, see, I'll go here. I'll go over here and I'll I'll close this up. And you, you see that my cursor disappears behind it, and I click on it. I can hit escape. Nothing happens. Alt F four, which sometimes works, doesn't work with this. And so now, the only way to really get rid of this, you know, is essentially to uh, to reboot the computer and who really wants to do that right so what I did is I did some looking and there is a program that you can get um, that uh, you can run from from a console and I'll just show it to you real quick it's called Xkill and I hit enter and see how the the cursor changes to this little skull and crossbones guy and all I have to do is go over to the well the black screen, um, the window, and if I click on it, it closes it. Well, I thought it might be a good idea to show you this, uh, how to get this program. Um, if you do a sudo pacman search, which is capital S, lowercase s, for xkill, this is what you get, and you see I, I I just installed it a little while ago, but it's called Zorg-Xkill. So you want to install that, and then you, you'll have that capability. There is also another way to do it, and I'll go ahead and show this to you as well. Um, and what I'll, I'll use is I'll use a Dolphin program. Um, you can see Dolphin's open over here. Let's uh, do it kind of like this so you can see it side by side. So you see Dolphin's open. You can also use a program that comes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm having a hard time trying to remember if this was something I, I installed later. I don't believe I did, but I may have. But it's called pkill. So if you do pkill, you can type in the name of a program. And in this, in this example, I'm going to type in Dolphin. And if I if I type that in, P kill dolphin, it will actually close it that way. You can also type in whatever the executable is, if you know what it is. If not, and I tried to do that with EverQuest, uh, and the program, again, is launchpad.exe, and it did not work. So I would highly recommend, especially for all my fellow noobs out there, um, get P kill and X kill if you don't have both of these. Because often... Um, it'll happen where you're trying to run a program through Wine, especially. Um, and with Linux, again, being not really supported by mainstream software developers, we run into more problems than anybody else. Uh, because what we're always trying to do is trying to make it, you know, a program that was written for Windows uh, work in, in Linux. And... You know, we're like, like I said, we run into more problems than anybody else because we have to go through that step. Uh, given that, again, most software is not directly uh, supported for Linux. Um, 
So in that in that regard, these two programs will be valuable to you. I highly recommend having it. But I, I did want to go ahead and share that with you, and hopefully that has helped out. Uh, please like, subscribe, and rate the video if I've got it enabled, and uh, uh, check back in for future videos. Thanks a lot for watching.